What's up, ladies and gents? I'm Strano One, your host here, and welcome to a special video. We are we have early access to Dying Light Bad Blood. This is a brand new mode that is going to be coming out soon in early access, but we're going to get a chance to show you guys a little bit of it now. I haven't played any, so we're going to go ahead and get into the tutorial so we can learn how to play. Welcome to Dying Light Bad Blood, a fast-paced multiplayer action game where your advanced mobility and combat skills are the key to leave the map alive. At the start of every Bad Blood match, you and all other players are dropped into a zombie-infested area. Each of you has the same goal, to evacuate before others, as only one can make it out alive. To get a seat on the extraction chopper, you have to extract blood samples from the zombie hives. The chopper will arrive only when one of the players has collected enough samples. Collecting the samples will also level up your character. With each new level, your health, speed, and strength will increase. Locate the hives using your minimap. Defeat the zombies guarding them and collect the blood samples. You can also try creating a diversion and harvesting the hive before you're noticed. The hives come in various difficulty levels. If you have trouble tackling them, explore the area for better melee and ranged weapons or useful items such as shields, throwables, and weapon upgrades. Remember that only one seed is available on the chopper, so sooner or later you will face other players. Kill them to loot their weapons and, what's more important, the blood samples they carry. To get an edge over your rivals, master the Dying Light gameplay, use parkour to escape pursuits, hunt down other players, and race to the chopper. Engage in brutal melee combat and discover the depth of new moves, including parries, crows, and shields. If you get pierced with a sharp weapon, you'll have trouble running and start a bleed. Press the prompt button ASAP to yank the blade out and use it in combat. Once you have enough samples, you will be marked as hunted. Now you are everyone's primary target. Get to the evac zone as soon as you can and fight off the remaining players. Stay in a zone uncontested until extraction to win the match and flee the quarantine zone. Good luck and have fun shedding some bad blood. All right, so let's do this. Again, this will be my first match. Never played one before, so. Hopefully we'll be able to get in there and actually find a good match. First off, find weapons. Harvest hives to level up. Eliminate other players and then evacuate. There's no time to waste. Be on the move. Now, since this is a game that is only out to a few people, hopefully we'll be able to find a match. We got five players already in here, so that's good. I <laughs> said <laughs> 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 he jumped on me. Look at that. That's awesome. Okay. Always shoot me from there. Very interesting. I, I mean, first of all, Dying Light is such a beautiful game. <laughs> Somebody killed me from behind. 
All right, here we go. We're starting. Again, first match, so I'm probably not going to do that good once I get into it, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully you guys can hear me correctly. So pretty much from now on, we're going to be putting out a lot of videos with all the new games that are coming out, so hopefully you'll enjoy that. Okay, here we go. I held it in my hand too long. So I was um, I was just pressing buttons to see you know what does what. So holding the right the right mouse button had my grenade in my hand, and then I was seeing if I could switch to another one so that I didn't have to use it. But because I held it too long and I tried to switch weapons, it still had it in the hand and boom. So that was it. So we can get a good sense of uh, the gameplay, I guess, by watching others. Gives you a behind the shoulder look as well. I love the colors and how bright and bright is. Now you guys are seeing this in the utmost quality, meaning that this is in 4K, 60 frames a second, of course, with a GTX 1080 Ti. Of course, I would still be playing if I didn't kill myself in the first five seconds, <laughs> but that's the story of Strange Life. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna kill him. Oh, he got him. Can he just like disappear on me? gist of the game and what you need to do. Obviously going around and grabbing those little things are going to get you. I guess you got to get to the line. Once you get to that specific line, then call in the helicopter and then you'll have to try to extract, but then everybody is going to be against you at that point. So that's like cat and mouse gameplay if you're trying to get to the extraction. Point. So far, this guy That guy right now is in the lead.
So they're just going around looking for more um, hives to grab cells from. He's got a shield. got a lot right there yeah 750 he's actually almost there so we're gonna focus on dr. Watson a little bit I actually prefer if I was gonna show you this obviously I don't know what the heck I'm doing so it makes more sense for me to show off against someone who's played a little bit more of it so that way you guys can see gameplay of, of how it originally is intended since uh, my first match isn't gonna be probably a good match but then again, I did kill myself, so. <laughs> Very melee-based uh, weapon, which of course everyone knows that Dying Light is more of a melee type of game. And I would like to know in the comments who actually played the original Dying Light. Ooh, so we got a new leader. He is almost there. Nice. I just love how bright and beautiful looking everything is. Then again, I am playing this in HDR, so... <laughs> you guys are probably only seeing the SDR version, but it's, it's very, very, very good. Lagtastic is done. <laughs> that just leaves these two left. Wow. <laughs> it's a very close match between them two. So I guess we'll get to find out exactly what happens if you don't actually even get to make it to the end because all the players are dead. Oh! He's gonna get over it. Is he gonna beat this guy though? got like one not even you got one thing of health left dude just get out of there Very, very close match. Only 500 points separate both of them. Now these are all AI characters here. Oh, we got two of them. You might want to get out of there, bro. He's still facing off against the two ninjas. <laughs> but he's losing, he's losing a lot of health. He got one of them down. That's yeah, pretty much done. There he goes. Get out of there. He's 
way too many enemies that are really close to him. And he's done. Dr. Watson's the only one left. So I guess once you're the only one left, it tells you exactly where they are. Interesting. Tells you maybe where the sample is. <laughs> and he got him. Now he's just got to get to the helicopter and he won. He's got full health. Needs some armor, but he ain't gonna have any resistance against enemy uh, player characters because they're all dead. <laughs> Sweet, he's got a health thing there. That'll come in handy. Ooh, and a pistol. And I'm sure the pistols or any machine guns or uh, shotguns are like game changers in this. Pretty quick to get to, to traverse around the environment. As you can see, he's moving pretty fast. You can just also see how big the map is. Started with what, I think 12 uh, playable characters. There you go. He's like, yeah, I won. You're the only one left. No one's gonna get you. Alright, we didn't do very good, of course, because we were an idiot and died within the first five seconds. But let's try one more. This time, let's hope that uh, we live to see another day. I'll try not to die super quick this time. I not kill him there. I thought you could like land on him, but I guess not. Always feels good in these games like this. I know I just passed a guy. Oh, we're in a safe area. You can't do anything when you're in a safe area. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I was just trying to hit people and you can't do anything. I'll try not to die within the first five seconds this time. <laughs> no promises, though. He's almost dead. Yeah. Oh, I should have been able to kill him too because he had like no health. But stamina is so, so crazy in this game. Like, you've got to make sure that your stamina is good to go. Because if you don't, then you're just going to die. So I was just, like, numbingly, mind-numbingly hitting as fast as I could. But all that was doing was just screwing me over when it comes to... Um, i got to say, this is pretty fun. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed a little look at Dying Light. Let me know what you guys think. If you're going to uh, pick it up and play it, it's uh, going to be in, in early access, I believe, sometime soon. I'm not really 100% sure. But let me know what you guys think of the gameplay so far. How do you think it looks? Hopefully the quality was good enough for you guys. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace out. Lots more videos coming.